Recently, there's been some quite fancy changes to Tesla Autopilot, and uh, the car will now actually stop automatically at traffic lights and stop signs. So our question is if we bring our own traffic light and stop signs, can we make a Tesla stop wherever we want? That's what we're gonna be finding out. We're also sponsored by Squarespace, the best platform for building a website. All right, let's get on with the experiment. So we are here at Nottinghamshire's only stop sign. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn Autopilot on when we can, and we'll just see if the car's gonna stop automatically or not. So I'm just going to reduce our speed down to 10 on cruise control and then as soon as these lanes show up I should be able to turn autopilot on fully as well okay I can right autopilot's on and already you can see stopping for traffic control in 100 feet so this is brand new we've never ever seen this before we're also seeing a brand new speed limit sign as well okay and there we go the car has stopped at the junction this is absolutely beautiful look at that so basically how it works is I now press my accelerator and the car will start driving. But because of this specific junction, which is just really blind, you can't really see, I'm actually gonna just exit autopilot completely, and I'm just gonna do what I normally have to do, which is creep out, see that it's safe, and then we can carry on. But if we were at a different junction that was more wide open, all I'd do is press the accelerator, and the car would start driving for us. We can see some national speed limit signs up ahead as well, and um, we should be able to show those off on the map. So if you're from the US, these mean that you can go 60 miles an hour. And look at that, they show up beautifully. Isn't that good? So previously the car used GPS to work out what speed limit it was allowed to go, but now it uses GPS and speed limits. So if it sees a 20 sign, it will start going 20. So what I'm interested in, if we had a fake sign that said 100 on it, could we make the car think it was allowed to go 100 miles an hour? Maybe we'll test that in a future video. So we've also got some giveaway signs up ahead. There's lots of giveaway signs in the UK, but unfortunately right now, giveaway signs don't show up at all. Just to show off some more signs, we're coming to a 30 here, and as you can see, it's actually displaying three 330 signs even though there's only two but look at those aren't they good so i'm so interested if we got an a4 piece of paper with a one on it could we make that say 31 is that how it works i don't know right now what we're gonna do i've got me traffic light so in our traffic light becky video this actually did show up on the car's screen so i just want to find out if i go plunk this over there and we drive towards it on cruise control will the car stop i have no idea i, I would be very surprised if it did but we'll find out Okay, so we just need to turn cruise control on when we can. There we go. And now, is the car going to stop? Oh, it's on green. <laughs> it showed that it was on green. <laughs> Normally at traffic lights, like it did with the stop sign, some text comes up just saying that the car is going to stop. It didn't do that this time. So I don't know if maybe Tesla's working with GPS, so they know where traffic lights are. But let's give it another go. It's double-sided, so we can come from it from the wrong side of the road as well. Right, get more of a distance on it. Turn on cruise control. I'm going to slow down to nine miles an hour as well. And let's have a look. Is it gonna show up at all? Maybe even seven. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's doing something. So that green line means that it thought that we were on green, so it was fine sending us away. But nothing, no text showed up, so this is a little bit interesting. I think we should keep trying, because it's definitely trying to do something. Okay, this is the one. Cruise control's on. I'm gonna reduce us to four miles an hour, give the car plenty of time. Oh, so you saw some text popped up for a second, and then it disappeared. We're confusing the car. I'm determined to get this car to stop at our fake traffic lights because it definitely is thinking about it. You saw some text popped up just for a split second there. Let's turn around. We'll give it even more time. I tell you what, it is convenient that this traffic light is double-sided. Okay, we're off again. Go on, here we go, here we go. Oh, so <laughs> you saw it again. Basically, I think if we had a real actual traffic light and we plonked a real actual full-size traffic light down, I think it would work. But you could see there for a second, it thought the traffic light was a wheelie bin, then it thought it was a traffic cone. So I think it's just a little bit confused and doesn't want to fully commit to it, but we're definitely getting some text to pop up on screen. Right, let's go even slower. Let's go at like three miles an hour. There we go. We are giving this Tesla plenty time to make its decision. Well, this may be too slow. <laughs> I've run out of things to talk about. <laughs> so the traffic lights aren't shown up yet. Oh, wait, there's the traffic lights. It thinks it's on green. It's not giving us a little green line or anything. And we have traveled past them. So uh, you know what? We're gonna try traffic light Becky later in this episode. But first, should we have a go with the stop sign? Okay, Becky is off in the distance. Let's give it a go. Turn on cruise control when I can. There we go. Right, so the car sees a human. It doesn't see a stop sign. So therefore, if it doesn't see a stop sign, the car's definitely not going to stop. She's there with her stop sign. I think she's a wheelie bin. <laughs> No, I didn't see the stop sign. Okay, Becky's changed her position so that the stop sign's sticking out a little bit more. Just sees a human. 
Yeah, it's not. Oh, hang on, hang on. Stopping for traffic control in 50 feet. Oh, we nearly tricked it. So just at the last second, the stop sign popped up and you saw the text popped up down there and the car was actually about to stop. But obviously it isn't a real stop sign. It's way smaller than a real stop sign. And there's also a human holding it, which the stop sign over there doesn't have. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go four miles an hour. So our fake traffic light's right there. It saw the traffic light, but it has not stopped for it. Becky's ready with her stop sign. Right, it's displaying something. I think it's displaying a speed limit sign though. It is, it's displaying a speed limit sign and it is driving past. So it thought the stop sign was a 30 speed limit sign. And also because the stop sign's so small, it thought the sign was way further back than Becky actually was. Becky, yeah. it isn't quite working. And I think we might need to bring out the big guns. Traffic like Becky. But first, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the perfect website builder no matter what you need it for. Maybe you want to start selling custom t-shirts. Maybe you want to create an online portfolio for yourself. Maybe you want to start a blog that tells you how to look after house plants. Whatever you need, Squarespace has you covered. They've got loads of pretty templates. So whatever you need will be on there. You can look at detailed analytics when your site goes live. Squarespace really does have all you need. So head to squarespace.com slash jackmassywelsh to get started. And if you use code jackmassywelsh, you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a domain name. Thanks, Squarespace, for sponsoring. Traffic light, Becky. Traffic light, Becky. Whoa, there she is. <laughs> Our traffic light's positioned. She looks great. It already is showing up as a traffic light. So I'm going to turn on cruise control. Oh my God. It's doing what it needs to do. Wait, wait, wait. It, it, it's very confused. So we're going at one mile an hour. So it's showing up a human, a traffic cone, a wheelie bin. And you saw before, it also was showing up a traffic light, but the traffic light was behind the human. So I think we can get this to work, but maybe we just need to get Becky to stand in the sun. Oh, press accelerator pedal to resume cruise control. That is actually what it normally says when you get to a traffic light. So I'll press the accelerator and it's being very careful. It doesn't want to go past her. Speed up to three miles an hour. And then we'll say, see you later, Becky, bye. <laughs> There is currently a lorry going past traffic light Becky. No problem. Okay, Becky's now glistening in the sun. So I reckon this is actually about to work. She looks so much like a traffic light from here. So I need to get up to 10 miles an hour, turn on our cruise control, reduce it down to, we can go at seven for a little bit. I'm feeling good about this one. She is looking so traffic lighty right now. Look at that. Okay, go past our first one. It says it's on green so we can travel apparently. <laughs> And uh, now the second one. Oh, it thinks she's a human. That's clearly a traffic light. Why? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We did it. The car has stopped. Stopped at traffic control. Use accelerator or gear stock to continue. Traffic light Becky is a success. <laughs> but interestingly, she still displays. <laughs> she displays as a wheelie bin human. But it's still doing the stopped at traffic light control. That's really interesting. So all I need to do is if I press on my accelerator and now we're off again. Bye bye, Becky. There she goes, double wheelie bin. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. <laughs> I count that as a success. We just got our car to stop at a traffic light and that traffic light was, was Becky. <laughs> all right, here we go again. I wonder if they'll stop at the traffic lights. No, they are swerving to avoid them and now off they go again. Right, let's get up to 10 miles an hour, turn on our cruise control. There we go and reduce speed. She is asserting her position. I think the car thinks that she's a bicycle right now, but hopefully that changes closer to the time. Oh, it seems, oh, there we go. It's, it's, we're getting a little bit of text here and there. Car doesn't know what's, it's, st oh, it's, <laughs> we're breaking all over the place. So the text isn't showing up, but it is behaving like a traffic light as opposed to just a pedestrian in the road, which I find very, very interesting. Traffic light Becky, you were kind of a success there. Hey. So the thing I want to check is that it's not just stopping because it can sense that there's a pedestrian there. Okay. I think we need just Becky to stand by the side of the road and we'll see if the car goes around you or not. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Cool. Time to find out if the cruise control behavior is any different. So turn cruise control on and we go at the same, yeah, let's go five miles an hour. So the car can see that Becky is in the middle of the road, but she's obviously not a concern. So let's see if the car does stop or not, or if it is just gonna continue driving. Yeah, it continues driving. So it's definitely traffic light behavior. It's definitely acting like there's a traffic light there. It just doesn't exactly know what to put on the screen. I think we should pick up our traffic light. Uh -huh. And now to finish off the video, we should just go to an actual real traffic light. Oh, sorry, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just so that the viewers can see what actually happens at a real traffic light. Sounds good to me. Nice. Oh no, hop in and we'll grab the traffic light on the way past and it'll be cool. All right, traffic light's there. Can Becky grab it? Sure, I can. We're going at five miles an hour. Oh. Five miles an hour. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> 
Yeah! <laughs> so, some real life actual traffic lights behind me, and as you can see, we got a little chime and it said, stopping for traffic control in 300 feet. So you can see the car's gonna start accelerating, but if I just press the accelerator, the red bar turns to green, and I've basically told the car that I would like to continue. So the chime and the fact that it shows us green, that shows the autopilot is clever enough to understand all of the traffic lights. But right now, just because 100% self-driving isn't legal yet, and just because they want the opportunity to gather a little bit more data, you still have to manually tell the car that you want to go through the lights every single time. So we've just add another chime, signifying that the lights are on green, and you'll see, if you look at the speedometer, that it does start decelerating. But I've pressed the accelerator, the bar's gone green once again, and we go back up to the speed limit and we travel through those traffic lights without any kind of problem. So it is very cool just seeing that the technology's there and that we are getting closer to self-driving, but right now, obviously, it is still very limited. All right, so we're now gonna whiz around this roundabout and I wanna say thank you very, very much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I think it's very, very interesting there and I'm very pleased that we did actually manage to get traffic light Becky to stop our car, even if it displayed on the screen a little bit weirdly. But yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this episode. Remember to check out the sponsor Squarespace. Make sure to subscribe because we're getting quite close to 300k now. Becky, thank you very much for your help and uh, we'll see you next week with another video.